It is dark and damp with a deep history. A tunnel in Walhalla started with ambitious plans to blast through rock, making way for a railroad. But as our Ben Hoover shows us, the project went bust and birthed one of the Piedmont's most unique attractions. Tucked away in Walhalla, you'll find a tunnel that's dripping with history. But if you're hoping to get somewhere through here, anyone from around these parts will tell you this ain't that kind of tunnel. So it's, it's like a, a tunnel to nowhere, really. Right. It literally just comes to an end like you, yeah. it's rock. Hard stop, yeah. <laughs> Hard stop. Hard stop. <laughs> Tim Todd, a local guy who also runs Discover Upcountry Carolina, knows his way around what's called Stump House Tunnel. And it's a fascinating story that dates back to the 1850s when construction on part of a railroad started connecting Charleston to Cincinnati. So they started digging, blasting. A lot of it was hand, hand dug, hand tools, that type of thing. Then they started using some dynamite. But the real bomb came when the project went bust. With no more money, the company went to the state for help, where it got tied up until... 1861 came along, and the Civil War began, and so the tunnel was never finished. You can already feel how they... Yeah, the temperature just went down about 5 degrees. Yeah. It stays about 50 degrees in there year-round. When you step in, it's cool and dark. Our camera light helps show traces from its early days. The area there, that's where they would drill down to, you know, plant the dynamite to blast out. All the water seeping in from the Blue Ridge Mountains makes the air nice and moist, conditions that will help tell another cool story about Stump House. It's also very damp, so the conditions are perfect for making Clemson's famous blue cheese. So right behind that is where the blue cheese was made. At the halfway mark beyond these gates, that's where back in the 1940s, Clemson University cured its blue cheese for years until air-conditioned ripening rooms came along and they moved out of the tunnel. Sometimes when you've been in here, this has been open. Yeah. Not in a while now, but and mainly now because of the white-nosed bat. And yes, while it may be home to bats. Oh, okay, those are lights. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that was a, it was a light. Yep. That doesn't keep visitors away. <laughs> and here come some now. I have to say, Chris. Yeah, hey, Ben Hoover. Oh my gosh. How you doing? A school group visiting from Columbia. These are all seniors. They'll be graduating in four days. Students proving that just because this path may lead to nowhere, the people who walk it know where they're going. At one point, I looked straight up, and then the water fell right into my eye. But um, it was it was really really cool. People say, well, "Why would you go want to go see a dead end tunnel?" Well, if you haven't been, it's pretty cool and pretty wild. In Walhalla, Ben Hoover, Seven News. Neat stuff. Didn't even know that was there. Well, by the way, the name Stump House comes from the Native American Princess Issaquina. And next Friday at 11, the nearby Natural Wonder bearing her name.